Okay, today we're going to do editing. We're going to address spelling, grammar, punctuation, and or word choice. We all should be on slide 11. And we should have our rough draft open. My rough draft is open right here. Okay, now the file, I'm going to ask you to watch a video and then you are going to complete the task of final editing. You're going to have to do a spell check. You're going to do a grammar check. Did you read through the essay? Did you want to make any changes to your word choices? Did you put your name in the title of the Google Doc? Did you create a work cited? And when you're when you're done watching this video, I have put on a timer here. You can click on that to help you keep focused. And when we do our editing, you're going to complete a final review and use gray ink to document your final editing and revisions. And just as a hint, edit, think cups, capitalization, usage. Does your nouns and verbs match? That's why we do the grammar check, punctuation and spelling. Okay, so first I'm going to click here because I did not put my name in here. So I'm going to put Mrs. McAllister. And then I'm going to put opinion, plain essay. Okay, so we have that. So we did the name. Now I'm going to do a spell check. And just so that you know, I'm going to make sure that I mess something up. And I'm going to go to Tools, Spelling and Grammar. And it found my error right away. So it says women. I say accept. And then change vote. The, the I'm going to ignore that because I don't believe that's necessary. Okay, so then it says it looks good. So what's nice is the tool does the spelling and the grammar. And then we are going to read through our essay and make sure that we don't want to change anything. Now, as you can see, I put something in dark gray here because when I read this first paragraph, I noticed that a part about slavery was missing in the introduction. So we had the claim of including it, but it did not have it as part of one of the statements above. So I put slavery was a part of society which enslaved men of color and many fought for it to be abolished. So I put that idea in here so that it made sense in the claim statement. Okay, so again, while we're looking at our rough draft, we want to make sure that we have the five colors now that we've edited. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Okay, then we use transitional words and phrases. First of all, furthermore, finally, in the final analysis, okay, justifies the reason with evidence and three supporting details. So when we made the outline, we made sure that we had three supporting details and a quote for each paragraph. Okay. And if you have to go back to your outline that you created, whether it was on your sticky note or it was on the slide or on the rough draft. Okay. And then let's see, what else do we have to do? We did, we read through the essay. You saw that I made word choices. I put it in gray ink. We did look at the rubric again and let's see, work cited. All right. So, remember you go to add-ons, you go to Easy Dip Creative. I love this thing. So now we're going to do website. I'm going to click this out because I was playing with it. I'll make sure I have a new one. Okay, so we are going to, I use three websites. I want to make sure it says MLA 8th edition here. Okay, 
Then I am going to scroll down and I have one, two, three. Perfect. So if not, some people put their sticky notes, their website addresses on their sticky notes. Please feel free to use those. Okay, so I'm going to click on this. I'm going to control C, control copy. I'm going to put in the website, control V, search. And what's nice, it finds it for you. You select it. It makes the bibliography work cited for you. So then I'm going to the next one. And I'm going to highlight this one. Control C, control copy, control V, paste, search. And here we go. I'm going to select it. So now we have two of them. And then I'm going to pick the last one. I'm going to highlight just the website address. Control C, Control Copy, Control V, Search, I'm going to select. And now we have three of them. Now, in order to put this on the document, the Google Doc, all you have to do is hit Add Bibliography, which is Works Cited to Document. Now, if you scroll down, you're going to see it's on the last page. It always puts it on the last page of wherever you're writing. Okay. It's all formatted correctly. It has a period at the end. It's indented on the second line. It's double spaced. So the works cited is created for you. Okay. And this is the rough draft. We've spell checked. We did a grammar check. Did you read through the essay? Yes. Did we change any word choices? Yes. Did you put your name in the title? Yes. Did you create work cited? Yes. And with revisions in gray ink. Okay, you got this. Remember, reach out for any help that you may need. You have the timer to start. Start working. Thanks.